Let me. Yeah. You want to know how powerful I am? Yeah. Well, so do I. Mm. I'm dying. I know. I'm dark. But you better make damn sure you kill me this time. Because if you don't, I'm going to kill the light. If you want to see it, it's going to how it feels to live in my world. A world without power. A world without mercy. A world without Spider-Man. And everyone will be able to see me for who I truly am. And who are you? Don't you know? I'm Electro. Very impressive, Electro. When did you do this? There's something you're not telling me, Aunt May. Every time I mention my parents, your eyes go down. I know that you're not telling me something. You lie to me. I know you love me. I don't I know lie. you love me, but you do. Aunt May. Aunt May. You have to tell me, May. That's my father. Yes, he was your father. But that didn't seem to stop him from leaving you. I need the truth. The truth is your parents left you here on our doorstep. And you were this little boy whose whole world was turned upside down with no explanation. We did the best we could. Your Uncle Ben and, and I. I mean, who else was going to care for you and protect you and worry about you? Your father? No. I was the one who wiped your nose and made you brush your teeth and do your homework and washed your dirty underwear. Me! Your stupid, non-scientific aunt who doesn't know how to make ends meet, who has to take nursing classes with 22-year-old kids so I can pay for you to go to college. And I don't know how to do this without Ben. I don't know how. And, and you're dreaming about your perfect father who was never here. No. No, I won't tell you. You're my boy. As far as I'm concerned, you're my boy. And I won't hurt you. I'm your boy. You're my everything. You're enough. You're more than enough. That's not what it's about. Don't get that twisted. I love you so much. It's okay. It's okay. May. I need to know. But it will hurt you. Okay. A few days after the funeral, two government men came to see us. They said the genetics research that your father was doing with Norman Osborn was very valuable, and that people would pay a lot for it. And that's why he ran off with it. They said he was a traitor. I couldn't believe it, Peter. They told us he betrayed his best friend, all of us, for the money. I don't... Oh, I don't get it. No, I don't... It doesn't make sense. Yes, I know. I know. I didn't believe it either. I didn't believe it... It doesn't make any sense. Peter, I don't know. For so long, I would play it over and over and over in my head. What had I missed? What had I missed? He was just this normal, unassuming guy. He wore the same ratty lab coat for 20 years. He took the D train to work at 7 every morning, came home at 6 every night. I don't know. Maybe everyone has a part of themselves they hide. Even from the people they love. Peter. Peter. Mr. Osborne? Yeah. Look up. I think you're looking for me. I cannot believe my eyes. Spider-Man.
just the man I wanted to see. You, um, you talk to Peter? Yeah. I want to help you, Mr. Osborne. I really, really do. I can't give you my blood. Not right now. Excuse me. It's too dangerous. If our blood isn't compatible, you could die. I'm already dying. Your blood can't make me die more. But it could do something worse. Okay. All right, how much? How much what? How much do you want? Name it. You want a boat? You want a plane? You want money? How much do you want? I don't want your money. Come on, everybody wants my money! I don't. I thought you were supposed to save people. I thought that's what you do is you save people's lives. You're, you're just gonna let me die. I'm trying to protect you right now. No, you know you are not. You're trying to protect yourself. Look, if we just need a bit more time to I figure do not out have something else. Time. <laughs> Sorry. You're a fraud, Spider Man. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey, I gotta talk to you for a second. I'm I'm running late right now. No, no, no. It's just gonna take a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Say one thing and I'm gone. Everything's a mess. Everything's insane. My dad, my mom, everything I thought about them, lies. Ha! Lies, 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 lies. No, 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 nothing makes any sense anymore. So here we are. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with Harry because of course I wanna save him. Mm. You know? I wanna save him because he's my best pal. And what 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 if what if my blood works? But what if it doesn't? I don't know. I got no idea. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I got nothing. The only thing I keep coming back to, Gwen, is <sighs> You say see? Should I take you upstairs? Yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm already late. I, can I have just one more minute? Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm. <clears throat> I have to. Be, I'm at my last interview for Oxford, right now. Oxford. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to bother you, uh, my fair lady, but um, my dad, madame, but um. Uh, who am I? I mean, who am I? I'm John Hopkins. I'm I'm one what? of the young professors at Harvard, and and I, I've been what? trying to get her to be in my be a part of my team for a while now, and, and she's just the best person I know, and okay. a scientific genius, and anyway, God save the queen, and I'm sorry that everything's Peter, can happening you just wait right. Second. Peter, Peter, what do you want to say to me? What's the one thing? I have to go to England, Peter. It's important to me. I mean, I don't know, maybe we're just, maybe we're on different paths right now. You know, I don't know. Maybe we're just going different ways. I don't really gotta go. I gotta go. Gwen. Good luck. Hi. Sorry. Mr. Osborne? 
You all right? Is there anything I can get you or? Uh, not unless you can bring those spiders back to life. Spiders? The ones that they destroyed to, to restore investor confidence. Go home, Felicia. Take the day off. Harry? I think there may be another way to get what you're looking for. I overheard Mencken talking with one of our security heads. Before they destroyed the spiders, they had the venom extracted. Uh, what? Uh, what are you saying? That way they could comply with the lawsuits, but still keep the data in case it ever became useful. Where is it? Somewhere in the building. Somewhere off books called Special Projects. Special Projects. Most recent entry. One hour ago. Approved by Harry Osborne. Accessing Ravencroft Archive. File 713. What the hell? File 71. Subject Dylan Max. Your user access has been revoked. Busy, you can't go in there. He's busy. What did you do? The more relevant question is, what did you do? An employee is killed, and in your first action as CEO, you cover it up. No, you covered it up, and then you buried him in the bughouse using my name. Ravencroft is a time-worn institution devoted to mental improvement. You are experimenting on people in there. Progress has its stepping stones. Now, in light of your deceptive criminal actions, you've been, how do I put this gently, fired. You are not going to bury me too. Looks to me like you're halfway in the ground already. It's only a matter of time. You're going to die a horrible death, like your father. The difference is, no one is going to miss you. Get him out. My name is Richard Parker. Whatever lies will be told about me, I would like the world to know the truth. Oscorp was already a leader in genetic research when Norman Osborne made a deal with a foreign military organization to continue funding my research. 
and I discovered what they were going to use it for. Weapons, biological weapons, of course. So I refused, and now to eliminate me from the picture. Norman Osborne has falsified evidence against me in order to take control of my work. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, you can open the gate. I'm Harry Osborne. Now, there's a patient in that isolation wing that I need to see. Joe, this is Mr. Osborne. Oscorp. Sorry, sir, without a yellow badge killing anyone past this point. But it doesn't matter because there's something else that Norman doesn't know. The human DNA that I implanted in the spiders was my own. Which means that without me, without my bloodline, Oscorp can never replicate or continue my experiments. Keep electro incubated 400 milligrams of sodium thiopental. I have destroyed as much as possible from the archives, but I didn't have time to kill all of the spiders, so as a scientist, my choice is very clear now. I have to disappear, I have to get as far away from here as I can. But as a father, it means I may not see my boy again, and um, nothing is as important to me as my son Peter. Nothing in this world. But I have a responsibility to protect the world from what I've created and to protect him from what I know Osborne is capable of. People will say I'm a monster for what I've done. Maybe they're right. I always thought that I'd have more time. I'm gonna get you out of here, all right? But we don't have much time. Who are you? I'm Harry Osborne. I wanna make you a deal. I should kill you. Come on. Think bigger, Max. I'm not the one you want. You want Spider-Man. And I can give it to you. But I need some of the first. I need you to get me into Oscorp. Get you in. You own it. Uh, not anymore. Oscorp betrayed us both, so I can't get in there without you, and you can't get out of here without me. What's happening? Someone pulled an alarm in the ISO unit. Get the containment team up there now. You could possibly know what I want. You submitted the design for the grid, and they stole it. And now you want it back. You just want to take back what's yours. No. It is all the power in the city, Max. And it's right at your fingertips. And then once you shut down the grid, Spider-Man will come to you, and I want you to make it bleed. Break, break. Max, we don't have much time. Go, 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 go. Give me one reason why I should trust you. Because I need you. You need me? Yes, I need you. You are my only chance that I have at surviving. You need me? Yes, I need you. I need you, please. Please, man. Oxford. Woohoo! It's very exciting. 
I came by your house a little bit ago, and I am. Um, you weren't there, and so I'm um, on my way to the airport right now because there's this early summer class that I found out about, and I thought that it would somehow be easier, I guess, this way. I think that maybe it's time to let this go. And that's not because I don't love you. It's actually because I do. So, um, okay, bye. We have to move now. Why? What's happening? I know it's hard to admit, but how spectacular a move is this? Am I right? Right as rain. Okay, so, fairy godmother, it is time to grant me a wish. I want in to special. How dare project. you come back in here? You recalcitrant, unworthy, defective urch freak. Sorry, that's just not the answer we were looking for. Clear. Welcome back to the bonus round. <gasps> Let's take a walk, shall we? The grid is all yours. diagnostic test apart from human trials oh, i've actually already run human trials you're just too stupid to know it do it now <laughs> you had it all this time <laughs> Spider-Man! Stop the cap. Lady, I ain't even moving! Hi. 
in a message. One message. A message right there. Oh, that. I was you. Don't do that. I couldn't make it out. I'll tell you what it says. It says, I love you. Because I love you. And no offense, but you're wrong. You're wrong about us. You're wrong about us being on different paths. We're not on different paths. You're my path. And you're always going to be my path. And I know there's a million reasons why we shouldn't be together. I know that. But I'm tired of them. I'm tired with every single one of them. We've all got to make a choice. Right? Why choose you? So, here's my thought. England. Both of us. <laughs> I'm following you now. I'm just going to follow you everywhere. I'm just going to follow you the rest of my life. I mean, I, they, they got crime there in England. They got, they got tons of crime, it seems. Tons. They got, uh... Jack the Ripper. <laughs> well, they haven't caught Jack the Ripper yet. You didn't know that? What the hell is that? Here right now. Phones are down. Somebody go down and grab tech ops. Hey, write down what you remember, people. There's got to be some kind of blackout plan, right? Some kind of backup. There's an emergency reset at the power plant. If he guts the transmission lines, they're never going to get this back up. All right, how am I going to stop him? Every time I get close to him, he fries my web shooters. OK, have you tried grabbing yeah, them? I tried everything. Uh, rubber, plastic. Did you try magnetizing them? I didn't try magnetizing them. OK, well, remember eighth grade science class? You magnetize a nail with a battery. It holds an electric charge. Yes. Near approach. This is Pan National 273 on approach. How do you hear? Approach, do you copy? Radio's working, it's not us. Yeah, I knew who he was. What can we do for you? Jumper cables. Jumper cables? Yes, and copper wire. Am I talking louder than I usually talk right now? Yes. Oh. Okay, you're pseudo ground. All right, do it. Ah! Uh, good. Try, 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 try. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, we're good. And that is why you were number two at Midtown. Rubbing it, okay. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm coming with you. Ben, you're not coming with me. Yes, I am. Ben, it's too dangerous. I'm coming with you. I've seen the grid specs, and I know how to reset the entire system. Ben. I'm coming with you. Okay, okay, you know okay, that you okay, need okay. me. Uh, yeah, I can't You're coming it. with me. Shut the thing. Sorry, I love you. Don't hate me. Peter! Yeah, work with us here. We still don't have backup generators. Get the engineering. I need a respirator right now. Uh, the battery operated. I'll get... Hang on. Okay. Experiencing some kind of electrical disturbance. Instruments are going haywire. Radar is down. We're flying blind out here. Do you copy? Tower, repeat. We are standby only. What is happening? Sir, there are two inbound flights on intersecting paths. Time to impact. Four and a half minutes. Clock it. Clock it right now. Spider-Man, I've designed this power grid. Now I'm gonna take back what is rightfully mine. I will control everything, and I will be like a god to them. A god named Sparkles? Not this time. Is that all you've got? Come on.
easy. Take it off. It's just your bones, and your muscles, and your organs. Oh, boy. I hate this song. Really? You want me to a car? What are you, little caveman? I shouldn't be here. You cry me up to go off to war? I know how to help you. What are you doing? I know, I know the grid specs. I can reset the system. You can't hey. be here right now. I'm not messing around. You can't be here right now. This is okay, insane. Guess what? Nobody makes my decisions for me. All right? Nobody. This is my choice. Okay? My choice. Go. It's mine. Now, how do we stop him? Okay, so we use electric, like a battery. So what happens if you overcharge a battery? It explodes. Right. So we use his power against him. Perfect. Okay. I think I can reconnect the power lines, but what I need you to do, I need you to reset the system. Okay, when I say you turn that power on, you turn it on. No matter what. Here. No matter what. Go! Go! to impact. Make your fight! <laughs> Gwen, stay there.
What did you do? What you made me do. You were my friend, and you betrayed me! No. I was trying to protect you. Oh. Look at me! Hey, it's gonna be okay. This is gonna be all right. You don't get people home. You take it away. No, Harry. I'm gonna take away yours. No, run, run! Ah! Harry! Harry, put her down! Stay with me, stay with me. Stay with me, stay with me. You stay with me. Gwen. Gwen. No, please, please.
I've identified several worthy candidates. Now that Spider-Man's gone, this city will never be the same. Oh, I'm counting on that. Speaking of progress, you're looking better. It comes and goes. Tell me more. How many men did you have in mind? I want to keep it small. Everything you need is already at Oscorp. Access granted. Welcome, Mr. Fierce. Who's our first volunteer? Alexei Sitsevich, currently serving a life sentence. He is most eager to join us. Good. Start with him. Russian gangster Alexei Sitsevich was broken out of a classified penitentiary known simply as the Vault by an unknown team of men. It's yet another example of increased criminal activity since the disappearance of Spider-Man five months ago. The web slinger's absence has left a hole in the heart of the city. Believe it or not, even the New York City Police Department has joined the chorus of New Yorkers in hoping for the return of the web slinger. The entire world seems to be asking the same question. Where is Spider-Man? Too bad about that spider guy. Too bad he's disappeared. Seems like everybody really needs him. Where you going? Just, just, I'm not sure. Peter, where are you going? I don't know. You know, it's it's so funny. I've been I've been I've been trying to clean up around here, get organized, and been putting some of Ben's stuff in, in boxes. And, and it's so funny. The heavier the box gets, the lighter I feel. You're throwing his stuff away? No. No, oh, God, no. I couldn't do that. It's it's part of me. I'm just finding a better place for it. I'm gonna take one last look. And I'm gonna put it where it belongs. It's easy to feel hopeful on a beautiful day like today. But there will be dark days ahead of us, too. There will be days where you feel all alone. And that's when hope is needed most. No matter how buried it gets, or how lost you feel, you must promise me that you will hold on to hope. Keep it alive. We have to be greater than what we suffer. My wish for you is to become hope. People need that. And even if we fail, what better way is there to live? As we look around here today at all of the people who helped make us who we are, I know it feels like we're saying goodbye, but we will carry a piece of each other into everything that we do next to remind us of who we are and of who we're meant to be. I've had a great four years with you. I'll miss you all very much.
Hey, Spider-Man. I knew you'd come back. Yeah, thanks for stepping up for me. You're the bravest kid I've ever seen. I'm gonna take care of this joke. You go take care of your mom, okay? All right, get out of here. Go. Go. You'll fight me? You'll fight me now? Huh? On behalf of the fine people in New York City and real rhinos everywhere, I ask you to put your mechanized paws in the air. Never! I just so I kill you! I destroy you! You want me to come down there so you can kill me? Yes! I'll be right there. Ah, there's no place like home.